and what is going on everyone on YouTube this is Mark Gaming coming at you with the first of what will most likely end up being at least 10 to 20 updates if not more on what is now Invest 97 soon most likely to be Tropical Storm Joyce and potentially Hurricane Joyce down the road reason we're calling it Invest 97 now is as a as of right now, it is a broad area of low pressure that is developed in the Eastern Caribbean or Western Caribbean, I should say, moving towards the Bay of Campeche and eventually the Gulf of Mexico. Currently, the broad area of low pressure is currently just to the east of Central America and is producing, according to the National Hurricane Center, um, showers and thunderstorms that are beginning to show signs of organization in the northwestern Caribbean Sea. Environmental conditions appear to be favorable for further development of the system and tropical depression or storm is likely to form in the next couple of days. Honestly, probably as early as Tuesday, as late as Wednesday, but most likely will happen on Tuesday, which today is Monday, so Tuesday, September 24th. That being said, let's look at some of the models that are coming out and let's see where this is going. The GFS model, as of right now anyway. Right, we're going to go to 97L. And that is what it looks like right now. Now follow it through. Currently going over the Bay of Campeche, which would be the worst thing because that would mean the storm would not weaken. And currently has it making landfall somewhere in North Florida, Northwest Florida, as a 941 millibar storm. Either way, not a good situation. And then also, since it's heading up that way, um, the west side of Florida, including Tampa, and you know, going up Florida towards the Panhandle of Florida would pre pretty much be on the eastern side of the storm. So tropical storm force and hurricane force winds, definitely possible. Again, this is just one model, though. Um, if you look at the HWRF model, this model take, is a lot more aggressive. So not, I'm not saying don't trust it, but you got to take it with a grain of salt. Because right now, the, the HWRF has it basically going over the Bay of Campeche as a Category 2 storm. And basically nearing landfall over Florida as nearing a Cat 5 storm. This would take it just east of the Apicocha and Panama City areas. And then obviously moving up north towards Georgia, spreading a lot of rain through Florida, the Panhandle of Florida, and Georgia. Uh, let's look at one more model and then um, we'll discuss what the scenario basically means. This is the Haman model. Again, same uh, model run, same time run. The Haman model is pretty aggressive with this too. It's basically down into the 909 millibar range. This one would be making landfall just north of Tampa Bay, where Tampa is on the southeast side, that would be worst case scenario for Tampa Bay. Storm surge is coming in. That is not a good scenario. And then I'm um, going along towards and spreading rain and a lot of wind up into Georgia and South Carolina. So let's just say this. Right now, uh, we're going to switch to 97L. We're going to talk about this. So... What we have is basically a future Joyce developing and moving northward into the Gulf of Mexico, making landfall somewhere in the panhandle of Florida. That is most likely at this point. The other question to be really pronounced is how strong is it going to be? Honestly, right now, models are hitting at somewhere between a Category 2 or in some cases a Category 4 or even a Category 5 if it can feed off the intense warm um, air in the Gulf of Mexico. Because let's face it, the Gulf of Mexico is still very warm, 
still very conductive for strengthening. So right now we're looking at somewhere in the Florida Panhandle. So if you're anywhere in the state of Florida, or even in the, in the southeast to central state of Georgia, now is the time to do research and prepare, get your preparation plans in place for if you do have to evacuate. Because while not within the next day or two, a tropical storm or hurricane, most likely a hurricane, will be making landfall somewhere in the southeast coast of the Gulf of Mexico coast in pretty much the state of Florida, probably within the next five to seven days. So take this first video with a grain of salt, meaning use it as a means to prepare and get your preparation plans in place for what is sure to come. The next update that I will do will be most likely on Monday night or Monday early afternoon, just depends on how things go. And we'll probably try to go every 12 hours until conditions really start to ramp up. And then once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico and starts to strengthen, we will cut that down to try to do it every six hours. And then once it gets towards making landfall, if that does end up being the case, we will do a live stream covering the landfall of eventual Hurricane Joyce. Until then, guys, Mark Gaiman signing off for now. Thank you guys for listening in. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.